Yeah. This world has elves, orcs, um, lizard people, fairies. Um, it's it's an amazing human beings. Human beings. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> a, few a few of them. Of them. <laughs> um, but it's amazing because it feels like it's very close to reality, and it feels like it could be happening. You know, it's yeah. and that's and every like every set I came into, it was all there. It was no green screen. It was happening, and and it feels it was like very authentic. It felt, mm. you know, it was like. Yeah, you know, it smells and bleeds, and it's a, it's so alive. Yeah, in this like dark, grungy LA. Yeah, today. Yes, yeah, it's a great, it's a great. David twist Ayers, of, LA. A, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. one, one, the, the one he knows very well, yeah. and that's also part of I think the, the 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 triumph of the film, the fact that 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 our director David Ayer he understands this world very well. I mean, mm. he understands. What it what 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 it feels like to be on the wrong side of the tracks. I mean, he knows how it feels like to be the other. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I think that this movie, in a very entertaining way, and in a way that is you know like packed with action and an amazing imagery, also deals with issues that are very relevant to us and that are very that is part of our daily lives. I mean, it has the, a very strong the, message. Yeah, has the a very, tension yeah. you know among the different ethnic groups and racial groups and social economic groups and and how do we deal with the issue of identity and empathy and how do we break out of stereotypes and break out of what society expects from us you know mm -hmm. and i think that these characters and 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 in a bigger or smaller degree they, they 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 rebel against the place society is enforcing and you know, we are uh, on elves the three of us which is like the strongest race We did a lot of a training. A lot of fight training, yeah. a lot of gun training. Yeah. Um, it was very, very physical. Um, we have, we work with amazing people. I was um, training with my knives, you know, um, and, 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 and also I think, you know, the way David works, like he wants his actors to be like, to start early and to, to work together and to prep together. So we mm. really got quite close to each other. Yeah. Um, but it was amazing. It was very hard. <laughs> mm. My body, some days I was limping. <laughs> and I remember once I was like, because we were on night shoots. So I was rehearsing. The whole time. Night, yeah, the whole time. Yeah. We were like living as, as vampires almost. Yeah. And I was rehearsing a fight scene and I had fever and then the stunt team was like, are you okay? And I was like, kind of so wobbly. Mm. But it was um, it was very intense and very yeah. fun. And because my character is more like fights with her hands instead of like, Leela has yeah. knives and guns and everything. So I did a lot of American Kempo karate training. So it was like learning how to use my hands to fight. And everyone had a different style of fighting yeah. that we got to really delve into and that was so exciting because we all felt really prepared. Well, it's, it's, it's a privilege, you know, because it really felt, um, and, and we've talked about it uh, many times, a number of times, that, that we, I mean, we had all the toys. I mean, we had all the infrastructure. But it felt like a small indie movie. But it felt like movie. a small indie yeah. movie. You mm -hmm. know, in terms of, and creatively, we had, exactly, mm -hmm. we had all the freedom. Everybody mm -hmm. did, especially yeah. David, which is, you know, which was very important to him and to us, that he would have total creative control of the, of, of the piece. And he did, and at the same time, we had all the, all the toys, all the advantages, all the comfort, you know, of, of a gigantic movie. But we had so, so much fun. Yeah. Mm. And David, the way he works, he's very, um, he's very open for ideas and he's very spontaneous. You know, this one day, I like there was this new set with a big uh, stage, like this kind of strip bar. The strip club. Yeah, the yeah. strip club. The strip yeah. club. <laughs> and I came in there, I was rehearsing this the fight scene and then David came in and he's like, so, he's looking at the stage, he's like, I think Layla should be coming like running across the stage and then jump through this glass wall and then land and then she start fighting. And the stunt team was like, oh right, okay. And when are we shooting the scene? Like, oh yeah, in two days. Let's figure it out. So, you know, and then we did it. And I, I love that with David. He comes into a room and he's like, he's creating and exploring things as we go. And, and I think this world of Netflix, you know, he could do that. You can feel it's a new era, you know, it's a new era. And that's, and that's very exciting because when people ask us, did, did this feel like a studio movie, or did this feel like a like a like did this feel like a like an independent movie? It's something completely different. It's a mixture of both, yeah. but a mixture that that results into something completely different. So I think that for us, it's very exciting as actors, you know, in this day and age, to be witnessing, you know, firsthand, such a revolutionary change in in culture. I mean, in the way we are 
consuming content and the way we are making movies and the way we're telling stories. And I think that this change that 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 the Netflix as a platform has unchained, yeah. it's irreversible. And it's very and it's very exciting. It's very exciting to to, to, and, be, to be part of it. And Will Smith is an amazing leader. You know, there was yeah. one day he was on set off camera for I think like 10 hours. They turned on him like 3 a.m. and they did a couple of takes. It was like, that's a wrap. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. this is like one of the biggest stars. Yeah, and yeah. he didn't, connect. he's such I a team that, that, like, player. Yeah, interconnectedness yeah. was like, because he was there every day just lifting everyone up and being like, we're going to make a great movie today. And yeah. like, there was one night we were shooting and it was like a night shoot leading up to Christmas and we were all exhausted and we'll start singing Christmas carols <laughs> <laughs> to everybody like all night yeah. just to keep everyone awake and it yeah. was like I think that feeling of like the indie kind of connectedness that we had as a cast and as a creative team We were in it together, yeah. for sure yeah. It was yeah. so exciting yeah. with like Hey guys, what did you think of that video? Now stay with me as I have a pretty interesting behind the scenes fact for you now, a lot of work goes into the making of movies and sometimes accidents can happen during production. The largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice of the coast of Newfoundland. 27 people died, including producer and co-director Varek Frissel, as well as collaborator A.G. Penrod. The incident is one of the most infamous in movie history, and the film was made in tribute to those who lost their lives. The opening cards describing the accident and the film are genuinely touching. On that sad note, I will leave you and remind you that we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See you soon.